always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to remind you that God is working through it. When things are not quite going your way and the conditions of your life circumstances aren't the most favorable, it can feel like God isn't there. So God is sending this uplifting word to assure you that he's working through this and something great will come out of it. Welcome to this your Thursday, January 3rd. Now let me get the year right. <laughs> 2019 edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. I chuckled because if you listen to yesterday's podcast, I said that it was January 2nd, 2018. I don't know if it's just me, but do you have that thing where when it's a new year, it takes a moment for your mind to adjust and say the proper year? Well, that happened yesterday during the broadcast, but I got it today. 2019. I'm so blessed to be here with you. My name is Deanna Hobbs. I'm founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources all around the world to help you grow in your faith and become everything God has destined you to be. I've got the biggest smile on my face and I'm sending you great big old warm hugs as I broadcast live from Empowering Everyday Women Ministry Studios right here in the city of Buffalo, New York. It is currently 33 degrees in the Queen City. Thank those of you who headed to Empowering Everyday everydaywomen.com forward slash donate and bless the ministry yesterday. You've been doing it faithfully since the beginning of the new year and I've got a feeling that God is increasing us as we sow into his kingdom. Every single podcast you hear is a free and available resource to you. Go ahead and stream and download it on iTunes, Google Play, many other outlets. Also on my website at yourdailycupofinspiration.com and on my YouTube channel under my name Deanna Hobbs, D-I-A N-N-A-H-O-B-B-S. We are a family and we should stay connected on social media, Twitter at Team Deanna Hobbs, Facebook at Deanna.Hobbs, and Instagram at I am Deanna Hobbs. Let's get into today's word, shall we? But first a prayer. Thank you, God, for waking us up today and allowing us to share this special moment to hear from you. Bless the individual that pressed play, inspire them, and remind them that you are for them and that everything will work out for them. They're good. Thank you, God. We stand on your promises and we anticipate a mighty word today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Daily Cup family, on New Year's Day, I published a devotion on the Daily Cup of Inspiration blog. And in that devotion, I was talking about a situation that my husband, Kenya, and I have been dealing with since taking over and relaunching City Church, our small upstart inner city ministry in Buffalo, New York. You can visit us online at citychurchbuffalo.org. Just in case you didn't read that devotion and you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll share about it here. So about a month ago, I was saying on the blog, I didn't know whether or not I should cancel Bible study one night. The stench in the church was so bad. Here's the thing, in the area where our old white building stands, skunks hang around and it feels almost like the skunks have learned our service schedule and they spray right around the time when we are supposed to have church. Now, praise God, it hasn't happened over the past few weeks. So at the time of writing the devotion on New Year's Day, I was sharing how hubby and I were just praying, Daily Cup family, that the city of Buffalo would make good on their promise to come to our property and help get this issue under control. You see, the city told us they would come out in December to set traps, but then they got backed up and couldn't do it. And so they told us, we hope we can come out before January ends, but we can't make any guarantees. On the night I was about to cancel Bible study, the air was was filled with the pungent odor of skunk spray. I mean, it was difficult to breathe. The smell was suffocating. Thank God I stuck it out because the folks who came out were blessed by the word of God. And that's all that matters. Now that I've caught you up, here's this. Yesterday, I had Bible study again. I started the very first week of my Dig Deeper to Go Higher series. I actually posted a quick video about it on my Facebook page just talking about how excited I am. Anyway, yesterday, 
day, my husband and I got the best surprise. We saw skunk traps around the church. The city of Buffalo actually came out to help us out. I was feeling tremendously thankful yesterday as well as this morning. God's beginning my 2019 with answering prayers. The church did not stink like skunk spray last night, but sometimes God will allow you to remain in stinking circumstances. It's not comfortable and it's not preferable, but he's there and he's working through that even when life stinks. And we find such a profound lesson that verifies this point in Jeremiah 19, where the prophet was ordered by God to preach in a garbage dump. Can you imagine? This place was called Hinnom Valley. It was also known as Topheth. It was a terrible, unsanitary, stinking, stomach churning, gruesome place. It smelled so bad because the people of Judah had gotten caught up in idol worship and they were sacrificing their children to the false god Molech. It was a terrible thing they were doing and God judged them using Babylon. They would be carried into captivity for 70 years and brought to ruin. And even in the New Testament, Jesus spoke of this grotesque Hinnom Valley figuratively as a place of final punishment and unquenchable fire for sinners. So he used the term Gehenna, which in the Greek is translated Hinnom Valley, and it came to be known as synonymous with hell. Why would God send Jeremiah to hell, so to speak, to preach the gospel? Why would God tell Jeremiah to stand among maggots and corpses and all the things that under the law are impure and naturally speaking, nauseating? Well, he was making a point. See, if you know anything about Jeremiah's ministry, you will know that God used the prophet to create live illustrations of what Judah's sin and impending judgment looked like. Here's an example. One time in Jeremiah 13, God had Jeremiah put on a pair of underwear, walk miles and miles to bury these underwear in the crevice of some rocks. Then a while later, Jeremiah was sent back to get the underwear. By then, they were all torn up, and those tattered undergarments were a depiction of God's desire to be intimate and close to Judah until their sin got in the way, and it tore up their relationship with God and led to their demise. See how God was using this practical method to unveil hidden prophetic revelation to Jeremiah? This unveiling in Jeremiah 19 as well required the prophet to go into hellish circumstances. Jeremiah Jeremiah was anointed to preach in that trash dump to deliver an anointed prophetic word. God was working through that and God has anointed you too. You might feel like you're in the trash dump of life, but his will is being accomplished. Even though the season looks and feels unpleasant, even though this really stinks, God's hand is in it. Just as we can look back and see the validity of the messages Jeremiah delivered from a trash dump, your day is coming too and I'm telling you that every word that God has spoken over your life from the trash dump to the mountaintop will come to pass. You might be going through the ugliest season of your life where tears are streaming down your face. You don't see God's hand. You don't understand what he's up to. You've been declaring his word over your year, but all you see is trouble. All you see is pain. All you see is heartache. All you see is lack. All you see is disappointment. All you see are unanswered prayers. All you see is Hinnom Valley, hellish circumstances. But God sent Deanna Hobbs to let you know that not only are you coming out of this valley, but you're coming out victoriously with a testimony of how God is faithful to deliver. God is working through it. He wants to get glory. This is for the fame and honor of his name. As I told you in the New Year's Day podcast, you're going to cross over into breakthrough. God shall bless you. He will fulfill his word. Even now, he's favoring you in these negative situations. He's causing stuff to work out for your good. Your obedience is being rewarded. He's putting things in place. There's no failure in him. So I want you to shift your mindset. Instead of lamenting where you are right now, start celebrating where you're on your way to. Get ready to rejoice. God is about to open the door. He's about to increase you. He's about to give you a great opportunity. He's about to answer those prayers. The devil wants you to quit because you're on the precipice, on the brink, on the edge of breakthrough. You are are about to step into your promise. God is working through this. Don't you give up hope.
hope and start to doubt him believe only to help you do that i'm stirring the words god said to the prophet jeremiah in the first portion of jeremiah 31 17 in the new living translation right into your cup of inspiration that scripture simply says this there is hope for your future says the lord oh as you drink down the contents of your cup god is fueling your faith and your hope for a positive outcome he's reminding you i'm working through it the lord is saying after you come out of this all will see and know that i am the lord and i am faithful to deliver and i keep every one of my promises now let's pray god i pray for this my sister this my brother you see them you know that they are in the valley of affliction but you will not leave them there i thank you now that you're working through this even though it doesn't feel good it's gonna turn out for their good so we bless you in advance and we declare by faith manifestation is about to show up in jesus name we glorify you now amen your daily cup of inspiration podcast has been brought to you by empowering everyday women ministries where we help fuel your faith every day for more information log on to www.deannahobbs.com Thank you.